In this lab, the technician will show you the Winkler titration procedure and how to use the DO meter. You will only need a DO meter to measure all samples. Please wear all required PPE and follow safety procedures. This includes wearing safety goggles, a lab coat, and gloves. Also make sure your hair is out of the way. Glass bottles may cut your fingers. Always hold them in the middle. Finally, be careful of any water on the floor. Walk slowly in the lab. In the Winkler titration method, the oxygen concentration is determined through a series of chemical reactions. 1. Oxygen fixed. 2. Produced iodine, I2. And 3. Titrate the I2 using a sodium thiosulfate solution. Based on the concentration and volume of sodium thiosulfate used in the titration, the oxygen concentration can be calculated. In the previous section, we found a DO by the titration method. Next, we will find DO by using a DO meter. Following is the operation procedure. Fill an air-saturated room temperature water into a BOD bottle. This should be done slowly and make sure there are no bubbles in the bottle. Once the water reaches the middle of the bottleneck, stop filling and put on a stopper. This is your room temperature sample. Put the bottle in the holder, which is attached with the DO meter. Rinse the bottom membrane part of the DO meter with deionized or DI water. Open the sample bottle stopper and put in the DO sensor quickly. 
Turn on the stir by switching the red button. Wait about 5 seconds and read the number. The DL reading may not be stable, so just take the reading at 5 seconds. Finally, stop the stir. Take out the DO sensor and rinse it, then put it back in the DO sensor storage bottle. In today's lab, you will prepare two room temperature samples. The technician has already prepared two samples at 35 degrees Celsius and 50 degrees Celsius. You need to measure all of them. Using the following equation, you can calculate the expected DO concentration for each aeration temperature and at ambient atmospheric pressure. Compare them and calculate the error. In the previous section, we talked about dissolved oxygen, and in this section, we will start the topic of biological oxygen demand following is the operation procedure. BOD refers to the amount of oxygen consumed during the complete biodegradation of organic matter in a sample. Since the completion of this process would take a considerable length of time, it is mostly common to measure the DO consumed over a 5-day period. We call this as BOD5. This is a method of assessing the effect of biologically degradable materials in aqueous samples. To prepare a BOD sample, transfer a 10 ml sample into the BOD bottle and slowly fill in the dilution water. Put a stopper on and don't overfill it. Today, we'll just show you the general procedure. The technician has already prepared a simulated day 5 sample you will only need to prepare a day zero sample. Please note, in your real BOD test, you need to prepare your day zero and day five samples at the same time, and then put day five samples in a 20 degrees Celsius incubator to cultivate for five days. After that, you can measure the day five sample. Since this is a limited lab period, we can't wait five days, so we just give you the simulated day 5 sample. Use a DO meter to measure both samples, D0 and D5. You can then calculate the BOD5. Finally, repeat this in order to do duplicate analysis. Most important biological wastewater treatment processes are aerobic, and so oxygen must be applied. OCR is a measure of the rate of oxygen used per unit of microbial mass. It is very useful in lab, pilot scale studies, and full scale treatment facilities. The OCR will indicate the amount of oxygen required under a given operation condition. To do the OCR analysis, fill a BOD bottle with the air saturated activated sludge and put a stopper on it. Put the DO sensor immediately into the BOD bottle. Record the DO value every 30 seconds for 15 minutes. You can calculate the OCR by plotting a DO versus time and calculating the slope. As a quick note, we did not use real activated sludge in this demo. Instead, we used a simulated sample in order to show the general procedure. The data for your analysis will be provided to you. If you assume the solid concentration is 2,250 mg per liter, then you can calculate the specific OCR. After this lab, you should know how to measure DO using the DO meter. You should also know how to prepare samples for both BOD and OCR analysis. That concludes the lab sessions for CIV 221. Good luck with the rest of your course.